Hi, good morning to one and all. Myself, a Ramaj Nailu. Okay. Today, I am going to explain about when a uniform bar is subdivided to an intermediate loads. Observe, previously we calculated change in length due to the applied force. In those problems, only one load is acting on a bar. But in this problem, the different loads will acting at end to both ends and middle points. Okay, midsection. Okay, for that we need to calculate uh, uh, forces for every section. In this problem, they given as three sections. That is A, B, B, C, and C, D. Okay, we need to calculate the uh, forces for individually for every section. Based on that forces, we need to calculate the strains. It is known as principle of superposition. Okay. Here observed two loads that is 80 kilo and 20 kilo They are given intermediate. Next, a bar, brass bar having cross sectional area of 1000 millimeter square. Okay. Is the area for uh, section A, B, B, C, and C, D. And it is subjected to an axial forces as shown in figure. Okay. For it is the total bar, it is subject to loads P1, P2, P3, P4, that is 50, 80, 20, and 10 kilonewtons. Okay, for every section, we need to calculate uh, stresses, loads, and finally change in length. Okay, first consider section AB. Section AB based on that we need to calculate the force separately. Finally, we need to calculate change in length. For that, they given data as okay, they given uh, area and ink smallness. Ink smallness is same for every section. Here, find the total elongation that is and take ink smallness E is equals to. 1.05 into 10 power 5 newton per millimeter square it is the ink smallness of a given bar for three sections that is a b b c and c d is same for all sections that is it is made up of single material okay first we need to note down the given data that is Area is common for three sections that is diameter is same so that area is also same for three sections that is a b b c and c d and ink smallest that is the given material is also same so that ink smallest is also 1.05 into 10 power 5 newton per millimeter square next consider section a b we draw the section separately. They given length as 600 millimeters. Next, consider the section AB. Draw it separately and based on calculate the resultant force acting on the material. Length is 600 millimeters next for this section right side force is 50 kilo newtons similarly right side sorry left side is 50 kilo newton we need to calculate right side that is left side only acting one force right side acting three forces that is 80 20 and 10 kilo newtons we need to calculate that is 80 is Tensile force that is is taken as positive. Next minus 20. Next minus based on this direction will given signs. Okay. By simplifying this value, we'll get 80 minus 20 minus 10 that is 50 kilo newton. That is both sides that is for section is same for every uh, based on this we calculated P1 is equals to 50 kilo newtons. Convert into newtons that is. 10 cube newtons okay next calculate change in length 
total change in length means delta L1 plus delta L2 plus delta L3. We have to calculate change in length individually so that first we calculating change in length in section 1. Okay, that equals to P1 L1 by A1 E. Here A and E is common for every material that is substitute these values in this equation we will get change in length P1 is 15 to 10 cube and L1 is 600 next area value is 1000 next Ings modulus is 1.05 into 10 power 5 Newton per millimeter square ok by simplifying this equation we will get change in length is 0 0.2857 millimeters ok it is the change in length in section 1 due to the load 50 kilo newtons ok similarly uh, calculate for section 2 section 3 section 2 that is BC draw the section BC it is the section BC similarly we need to simplify the left side and right side of the section right side acting two forces similarly left side also acting two forces you need to give the pass to for tensile 4 that is 50 minus 80 that is minus 30 kilo that means minus means compressive forces are acting in middle section similarly 10 minus sorry minus 10 minus 20 because both are in compressive direction so that minus 30 in both sides applying minus 30 kilo compressive load that is P2 is equals to minus 30 kilo newtons. length of the body is 1 meter convert it into millimeters L2 is equals to 1 meter that equals to 1 into 10 cube millimeters next force acting on the element that is 30 kilo newtons. it is compressive so that it indicate minus 30 into 10 cube newtons next calculate change in length delta L2 that is similarly formula P2 L2 by AE because A and E are same minus 30 into 10 cube into length of the body is 1000 millimeters and area is 1000 and ink smallest is 1.05 into 10 power 5 newton per m square ok calculate change in length that is we got minus 0.285 because due to here the section middle section is acting on compressive load due to, due, due to this compressive forces what happened the length of the section is reduced Okay. Next, calculate change in length in section 3. Consider section CD. Right side is acting only one load that is compressive 10 kilo newtons. Left side having three loads that is 50, 80, 20. 50 is positive because it is tensile. 50 minus 80 minus 80 and plus 20 50 plus 20 that is 70 70 minus 80 that is minus 10 here in throat section also the force acting on the material is compressive ok the length of the body is 1.2 meters convert into millimeters ok note down 
P3 is minus 10 kilo newtons that equals to minus 10 into 10 cube newtons. Next, length of the section is 1.2 meters convert into millimeters 1.2 into 10 cube millimeters. Next, calculate delta L3 that is change in length in section 3 P3 L3 by A E. Okay, substitute all these values in this equation. P3 is minus 10 into 10 cube. Next, L3 is 1.2 into 10 cube. Next, area is 1000. Ink smallest is 1.05 into 10 power 5. Okay, calculate change in length in section 3. Yeah, finally, we calculate change in length in section 1, 2 and 3. Substitute all these three values in the equation 0 0.2857. Next, in section 2, we got negative that is minus 0 0.2857. In section 3, minus 0 0.11904. Okay, the final value change in length is minus 0 0.11904 due to this application of our forces what happened the length of the bar is reduced with a length of 0 0.11904 mm it is very small value small change in length that is reduction will happen in this bar due to this forces okay calculated change in length okay thank you